Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Japan campaign in Europa Universalis 4. Japanese Manchuria! We got some state estates up here. Sorry, uh, not, not estates. They are territories. Very expensive to, to develop as well. Waiting on a core. It's the... This region up here we haven't cored either, so we can't turn any of them into territories. Waiting on this 90% rebellion to fire. We've just integrated one country, so there's some prestige for us. And they did rebel, but they rebelled not in the mountains, which is probably for the best. Takes us till November 9th. It's a, it's a little bit of a march. Your Garen Separatists. If I had to guess, I think you'd go for the higher development province. Maybe we just stay here in the mountains and see where you go. If I'm wrong and he goes down to Bohori, then that's unfortunate. Worst case scenario, we could just wait. No, he's actually crossing over into this province. Well, at least that's Woods, which is about the same penalty, actually. I will just take this attack then. Money or military power? We'll take the money. Take the, the money penalty. Estates demand more control of territory now that we have more cores. So the clergy need a little bit more land. We do have some land up here to convert. The territorial cores need to go away before we could do that, and that's a little ways off, so we could just let them be disloyal for a little bit and then give them land that I actually need their help converting. I think that that would be ideal. How are we doing on autonomy down here? So, okay. We integrated two countries so far. You'll be done pretty quick. Working on this guy. Like this is some of the land we probably integrated at 60%. I'm I'm tempted to just take the time. Like we don't have a huge number of wars we need to wage. I think I'm gonna just lower autonomy and we're gonna deal with the rebellions. Because we have manpower and we just We can't really afford to have 75% autonomy on so many of these provinces. So just, you know what? Bring it down. Across the board. Lower that autonomy. Let's get that income up. Now, army maintenance, we're reinforcing a ton right now. We got some mercs. Why do we have mercs? We don't need mercs right now. We have six mercenaries with 16,000 manpower. I think we can actually ditch the mercs straight up. Hi, Chi. Uh, we want to start building a spy network against you, and one as well against you. First off, let's issue an embargo against Korea. And then next month we'll begin building a spy network here. We're about to finish integrating you. And that leaves... One diplomat free to work on some of these guys. Annex subjects, minus 88. That's fine. We've improved relations by 170. Let's work on that a little bit more. And with Imigawa, it's just going to be a while. Like, even if we could integrate you, the speed would be very slow. Alright, I know that the, uh, the territories demand control of estates. And they are losing some loyalty over that. But we'll wait until after they are... Until after these cores are done. Okay, we're looking for unrest. 
We have no unrest up here. Let's pull our troops back down to here. <laughs> Interest on loans is cutting into our, our finances here quite a bit. How are we how are we lining up with everyone else? As far as the countries we know, we're the third richest. Ming is tripling our income though. Bahmanis is also doing quite well. Our truces have expired with those guys, so Bob Manus, actually. Doing pretty solid. Some that trade income, right? It's gotta be where that's coming from, isn't it? Trade 4.82 and gold 3.27. Our gold income's not bad. Kai, here. It's only got three base production, like, this would be a great province to develop. Okay, we've had two cores, or a core has just finished. That was up here. This can now be made into a state. I think we'll do that. It brings the autonomy down quite a bit and allows us to delegate some territory. So clergy, I need you to take some of this land off my hands and we're gonna do the provinces that are the wrong religion, which is right now all of them. If we were to try to convert these, Udi, is the fastest to convert, followed by Sakhalin. Let me do uh, Sakhalin. Only three development. Uh, it's territorial core right now. Let's finish coring it. Granted to the clergy, which gives us a bonus. Well, should. If we can get their loyalty up. Was it loyalty or influence that gives a secondary bonus? I think it might be influence. Oh, we're going to give them another province here. We're probably going to give them quite a few of this, these provinces, actually. So, Bohori would probably be the next one that I would try to convert. It looks like it's loyalty. Because now they have 61% influence. We're still not getting the bonus to conversion speed. We could make a generous donation to buy the conversion speed, or we could recruit a cheap inquisitor. Right now we got the national tax advisor still. Recruiting an inquisitor. Eh. I think we do spend the money. The conversion speed. No, you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna grant them all this land. We'll see if we can get by without having to spend money on it, because... Uh... We can almost get them there. Maybe after the Udi core is done? Maybe that'll be enough? Let's not do this Diplotech just yet. Unbalanced research is pretty penalizing. And I think that it's because I took Tech 7. We're too far away. 
Okay, their core is now done. Let's turn this into a state. Let's go ahead and core that. Let's grant that to the clergy. Still not enough to get their loyalty above 60%. That's unfortunate. And their influence is really high right now. Due to controlled provinces, plus 28%. Recruited minister expires in 10 years. No, I'm going to have to just make the, gen the generous donation. Okay, so now, though, we should be getting the effect. Minus plus 2% local missionary strength, which is going to make these a lot faster. It won't show until next month. But now, yeah, 27 months is a much, much better speed. Go ahead and start getting these guys converted. That's why we gave it all to the clergy. Um... In fact, now we have them so loyal that we could revoke some of the territory that's down here. That's hopefully sitting at you know, low, low autonomy. We've got up here and down here. 43% and 25%. Yeah, I think we revoke this. It'll still be over 60%, which is what we need for the conversion speed. And that just got us 20% autonomy in a Eight development province. So it's not, it's not bad. Let's shift them to the, the provinces that have higher autonomy. I, I mean, I lowered autonomy, but still. I'm paying off our loans. We need to have high maintenance, actually. We've gained some cavalry from integrating our troops. We're also about two-thirds of our force limit from integrating our troops, or our vassals. So that's useful. We've got some spy networky type stuff with these guys. Let's go ahead and fabricate some claims. I just want claims on all the things. And then other than that, maybe work on these guys a little bit more. I am getting a little bit concerned about this inflation. I think we're going to need to buy this down. Do not want to go over 10%. I think 10% is the threshold you got to be really careful about these days. It's not 5% like I used to think. I don't know if it got changed or if maybe I was just given the wrong information. Okay, so we're going to park the army in Kai with the 2-3 leader because it is hills and because the supply limit can support it and because that is a gold mine and we want to prevent this rebellion from happening if at all possible. Four hundred ducats in debt on three loans. Missionary is costing what he costs. Getting the, getting the land converted for us. Our corruption is being decreased. It'll take two years to get rid of it. You get rid of the unbalanced research penalty. It'll be very helpful. We gotta get this admin tech out of the way. The problem is we're getting really high up on diplo points. And I had wanted to spend those first diplo points on a tech group. Let's see, who hates Korea? Just me. Who hates Tai Chi? No one. Ming hates us. We've rivaled Ming. Why rat? Do you care about us? We could we like start to make any friends elsewhere, I wonder. Or are we just all to our lonesome? How about Ryukyu? Hey, you. Do you wanna become a vassal? Distance between borders. Bah. Let's just fabricate a claim on him. We've got... This This looks like it's in the sea tile, so we could totally attack him. Unfortunately, we'll have to land troops there. So we'll need a few extra troop... Uh, a few extra transports if we want to be able to land a... a, a that words! A sizable army. How many troops does Ryukyu have? Well, he's got six. So we'd want to have eight transports. And we've got nine, so we're okay. I don't really want to take that tech. 
What's our mission right now? Improve our prestige, get it to 50. Oh, we're so close. Hmm. So we're going to have another rebellion up here. Well worth it though, I think. It's too bad our admin point generation is so low. I might very well need to hire a better advisor for that. And an inquisitor could help. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll take the hit on money. Get the corruption squared away faster. by getting rid of the religious disunity. And for a while here, we're going to be just hunting rebels. Let's go ahead and just say autonomous rebel suppression. I think they'll handle it on their own pretty, pretty well. Okay, Ryukyu. You fabricate claims on me, I fabricate claims on you. How's that feel, huh? How do you like that, Korea? So easy to fabricate claims these days. Okay, conversions are down to a pretty quick speed. I'd say 19 months is a pretty, pretty good number. Surprisingly, only 89% religious unity. This territory up there is really bad, too, so... You know, it's kind of surprising that bad territory like that somehow already accounts for 10% of our land. But I guess it's okay. Lose ducats? Yeah, sure. Corruption changes by 0 0.02 per year. Let's go ahead and take this. I mean, the admin points are great, but this is actually going to give us the mission, so... I'd like to get a new mission. I think we've had that mission, like, the whole game. Naval Race versus Korea. 24 ships. Conquer Ilan Hala. I would like to go to war with Korea. They're on tech six. We've got we've got tech a, a tech advantage against them, and they're not allied to Ming right now. I mean, we could potentially take a lot of land from him right now. Corruption's only at 0 0.01. Like, we're almost good. The positive stability is gonna help out quite a bit as well. Six hundred ducats in debt. Blech. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. There they are in Kai. We're only losing 145 manpower. It's, it's oh, sorry, 1400 manpower. It's a very small amount to pay in order to in order to get rid of all the autonomy that we have in our country. Ming has embargoed us. Can't lower autonomy anywhere else. We've still got some more rebellions to put down though, like Ichigo. I thought that on, on Autonomous Rebel Suppression, shouldn't they automatically move to a province that has unrest? Or do I still have to tell them to do that? Okay, so because I told them to do that while they were still in this province.
All right. While we have these issues here, I'm not particularly keen on going into an offensive war. We could potentially hire the theologian after the conversions are all done. And then maybe we could do it and go to war with Korea. I'm certainly not going to lose stability. The clergy are dominating. All right. Well, we're going to have to revoke some territory from them soon. For now, though, I'm going to take a break here. And I'll look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. So thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.